And here we go, folks. The main event. The Universal Wrestling Federation. Primetime 28. GTA and JD battling for the Universal Wrestling Federation World Television Championship. Normal one-on-one -on -one match. Universal Wrestling Federation rules. Got to use all four special maneuvers. That means both signature moves, both finishers, in order to win the match. There you see GTA getting the upper hand on JD early in the match. GTA, I'm sure, was ready for this. He's been doing his homework on his opponents lately. Been on a four match winning streak, which is something that we're not used to seeing in the UWF. I mean, GTA was the jobber. He was the guy that lost every time he fought every week. But that's not the case anymore. He's gotten used to being in matches, playing against opponents in the UWF. And he, quite frankly, got tired of losing every week and every time he fought. And he got better. JD's having a hard time with GTA right now. GTA's looking like it's his time to become a champion in the UWF. JD already had become a champion on this episode of Primetime on Part 2 by winning the UWF World Tag Team Championship with myself, Mr. Whoopass. And at this point in the match, the tide is starting to turn, but there you see GTA with a real nifty move to get back inside the ring. Going back to work on JD with a spine buster. I mean, GTA got off more moves in this match than I've ever seen him get off in a match. Different moves, that is. He was ready. JD had his work cut out for him. But JD, he stayed the course in the match. And with GTA pulling stunts like that in a World TV title match, you know, his chances to win kept decreasing in my opinion but he would still find a way to somehow get back on top as you see right here <clears throat> going for another big time move on JD but there you saw GTA had his signature and he didn't use it he waited too long JD was able to recover get back up and get some offense in on GTA and that's why you see me get up on the apron I'm like looking closer to see what the hell these guys are doing I'm thinking at this point that JD should be able to come back and win the match. If he fights like I showed him how to fight and while we were training, then he would win the match. I figured GTA had lost his chance by waiting too long to do his signature. And you know, that also came from my training as well. I told GTA to work on being more patient because he was getting reversed too much and I said take your time before doing your signatures and finishers there you see GTA getting off a signature right there now hits his finisher on JD but he still got to hit his ground signature hits another pile driver JD able to fight out of all of this and come back with some nice moves. A suplex into a rolling neck snap. Springboard DDT. That's one of JT's money moves right there that he loves to go to is that springboard DDT. I like to see it. There you see another pivotal point in the match. GTA missing the elbow. Well, he kind of connected with that elbow, but he didn't get enough of it. He took more damage than JD on that. 
JD was able to get up, get some more offense going. There you see JD hitting a signature maneuver on GTA. Then comes out, chases him with a splash, hitting his finisher. Going to throw GTA back inside of the ring. Now it's anybody's game, really, but JD is looking like he's going to take it home here. T-bone suplex. And then GTA somehow, some way, is able to get out of the way and avoid losing the match right there because JD was definitely going to go for the win, probably go for the submission. Both guys now back inside the ring after that action on the outside. GTA still in this thing. Still fighting. JD wisely rolls out of the ring and gathers himself. Now gets GTA back inside the ring and goes back to work on him. Now you see JD going up top, gets up his signature. Hits him with another spine buster. Says it's over with gets GTA in a sharpshooter and wins the world TV title. Okay folks, this is Commissioner Whoopass. I got some news about the UWF world TV title. JD won the UWF world TV title as you can see from GTA. He was going to defend it next week on primetime in the rematch for the title against GTA and it was going to be GTA's last chance to win the TV title. He was going to get ready to go on vacation anyway. Oh, so that was going to take care of that, but after the sh after the show, JD let me know that he wasn't going to be staying in the UWF. Next week is going to be his last week. So there will be a match next week on primetime, but it's going to probably be a four-way for the UWF World TV title. JD will have a chance to defend his title and if he wins he's going to be leaving the UWF still but he'll leave as the champion and he'll vacate the title 